Did you know there are almost 200 dairy farms in Tennessee, ranging from just a few head of cattle to more than 1,300? Well, we found one in Bedford County that produces more than just milk. In fact, Laura Faber gives us the scoop on the Nash Family Creamery. Ice cream makes everything better, and the homemade kind you can find in Chapel Hill makes for the sweetest stop if you are in the area. Uh, honestly, I really love ice cream. I, I love producing it, making it better, making flavors better, uh, getting customer feedback. Um, it's a real passion of mine, as simple as it sounds. Cody Nash is the owner of this creamery and a fourth generation dairy farmer. So we're located south of Nashville, about 25 miles uh, at Nash Family Creamery. Um, we're located in Chapel Hill. This location is on our dairy farm, so it's a retail location where we make our ice cream and our cheese and then serve our prepared lunches, our gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches and then some other local products that we sell as well. Cody is hands-on when it comes to ice cream. The smaller the ice crystal, the smoother the ice cream. Then you freeze it solid at negative 17 degrees. He's got it down to a science. It's about 14% cream, and it has some items in it that help prevent uh, the water and the fats from separating, prevent ice from forming in it. Um, obviously, your sugar, cream, all that stuff. And we'll make about from 90 to 100 batches a week during the summer. Since the creamery started scooping, people have been buying. 76-year-old Thomas Pope is a regular. He's tried every flavor, but he has a favorite. I usually get butter pecan. Come every day except Monday, they don't let me in. <laughs> How is the ice cream? It's good, it's good. Leisha is about to deliver to me something called the cow trough. Thank you, Leisha. This is like the Mac Daddy of ice cream desserts you can get here. Seven scoops of ice cream, four cookies, fudge, and whipped cream. Bon appetit. The story of this family farm dates back to 1929, when Cody's great-grandparents started milking cows in California. Their son Howard took over in 1935, growing the farm to 280 acres and 200 cows. 1979 brought illness to Howard and his son, Cody's father, Steve, took over, growing it even more to 1,200 cows and winning all sorts of awards. I love cows, okay? I love dealing with cows. They're, they're just something I, I bond with. Uh, so we knew we had to grow. Growth meant finding a new place to farm, thanks to drought and new regulations. They settled on 480 acres in Tennessee, and the Nashes moved just outside Nashville. When I drove up the driveway, I could see that the stables was going to be my calf barn, that the shop and kind of riding area was going to be uh, a shop for us, um, a storage area for different feeds. Um, it had a big hay barn. I said, it's perfect. That's where we're going to store all of our feeds. So it was just, for me, just the light turned on. The actual angle and slope of the ground was perfect for building these barns. The farm continues to diversify. The Nashes make their own cheese from the herd's milk. On this day, cheese master Sean Clement is making cheese curds. This vat holds 2,700 pounds of raw milk and will make eight 40 pound blocks of cheese. Yellow cheddar, and then we have white cheddar as well as our jalapeno, which is on the back wall and some of it is here. Several types of uh, flavored curds, Jamaican jerk, and then we do have ranch, as well as our original and our jalapeno. Making curds is very sciency. pH levels, temperature, the cooking and cutting and aging all matter. And nothing goes to waste. The whey, as in curds and whey, is siphoned off and sent back to the barn to use for feed. As an agribusiness major in college, Cody knew he wanted to continue working the family dairy farm, but realized they had to offer more than just raw milk. Research led him to cheese and ice cream. Me and my dad went up to Wisconsin for uh, a week in, in July and just ate cheese and ice cream for like four or five days, just looking at what people were doing up there. Um, 
So this was just, there was a lot of years of research that came into this before it opened. Um, and this is kind of the culmination of all of it. You can also tour the Nash Dairy Farm. They are big on educating the public about farming. There are more than 1,100 head of Holstein cattle on the Nash family farm. This is your classic dairy cow. They produce more milk than any other breed, and these girls are about ready to go get milked. On the tour, you can watch the milking process and visit the calf barn and the babies and learn about all the work that goes into agriculture and providing food for us all. It is not lost on the Nash family how special it is that their little family business continues to flourish and bring new things to their community and beyond. Well, they say about 95% of farms uh, don't make it past the third generation, and here we have the fourth generation is, is growing it. From day one, it's been, it's blowing the wheels off of what we expected, so it's been, it's been a blessing. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.